and uh, the leading prison leopards and it's at sunset stadium zanako getting one back shortly before going on the halftime uh, break it's a scare that they have to deal with this afternoon as uh, prison leopards uh, try to supplant them at the top of the mtn faza super league and as it stands that is the status but zanako probably will have had a lot of talk in the dress room just like uh, prison lepers who have to hold on now and uh, Zanako who could really have had a dampened uh, uh, spirit going into the into the into the dressing room or the second half um, might feel uplifted and uh, self-belief to score as an equalizer and who knows probably win it but it's the uh, impressive uh, prison leopards that uh, have everybody talking the way they've come into the Super League the way they have uh, really given an impression mounted themselves on top of the log the second at the moment and if you consider this uh, particular lead they're on top actually and uh, the narco leaving a lot nothing to chance and so combo has been brought in for lasa kiera and you can uh, understand why so prison leopards know they need to increase the target to three <laughs> oh that's so coming so close And just almost finding uh, Leopards wanting to go on a third uh, goal streak. So a couple of changes that Zanako have made as well. I did honestly think Lassa Kiala wouldn't last that much and it's good to see Siankovo coming on. I think Lassa just dropped his head. He did look like a very dejected, frustrated figure. And I think a good call from the coaching staff of Zanako. The debutant as well, Yakis Bakulu. We'll see what he has to offer. But the S is silent, right? So it's Jacques. Jacques Bakulu. <laughs> Très bien. Yeah. I'm going to read it as if it's an English name. No, it's not. It's French. So Jacques Bakulu. Oui. <laughs> going to be a very interesting second half this one uh, Zio Tembo uh, looks like uh, he is also claiming to have been affected by the clash the referee saying hey listen Zio take it easy Very few from uh, the Zanako faithfuls would have expected this situation. It should have been Prison Leopard struggling to equalize. But... Uh, and, and the first half has really lived up to that billing. Absolutely. Not an easy assignment, any standard. Was there a push there by Simon Inkandu? Referee thinks not. And now there is a run. It's uh, Francis Zulu on that occasion. Still has another chance, uh, Zulu. The confidence with which prison lepers are operating free kick to Zanako very casual in the end by uh, Francis by Junior Zulu and costs his team possession Chite Mwashi seems to have uh, decided that Zanako had started play 
so <laughs> decides to nick it off the feet of Belchans Makiese. Makiese having a word exchange with uh, second assistant Naftali Banda. <laughs> uh, just uh, <laughs> a verbal barrage at the second assistant from Belchans Makiese. So for now, for prison lepers, it's to manage themselves, try to get a third goal without uh, being overexposed at the back. The question will be how they manage to contain what they have as a slender one-goal lead currently. Yeah, which can be heartbreaking when you lose it. Meanwhile, Kawa Warriors towards the end of the first half did get their one goal, and uh, it's Jimmy Ndlovo. So Red Arrows currently trailing at uh, the 107. But for you, Kachitalu Stadium. Lomana Radian still leading by that one goal to nil scoreline against Indeni. Forest Rangers likewise still leading by a lone goal to nil. And there, Young Green Eagles leading against Zesco United. Well, would you well, well, believe would you it? Know. <laughs> uh, do remember that uh, Green Buffaloes lost to Young Green Eagles at some point in this season. So. Sesco should be wary. Underestimate them not. They're also trying to stay in the Super League, avoid relegation. No offside. Obashi. Back to him. Second bat at the cherry. Still holding on. He needs support, surely. Gets it eventually from Mankandu. Damiano Piri back to Nkandu who whips into the 18 there's no one there almost okay so who fouled who it's Francis Zulu on the floor it's Roger Kola receiving a yellow card clearly it was Roger Kola who fouls uh, Francis Zulu as he's trying to get to the ball Gets himself a yellow card in addition to the goal that he got in the 43rd minute. And, uh, it was miscontrol initially from Roger Kola. Swings his elbow out at Francis Zulu. And uh, that's the reason why Roger Kola, the Zanako captain, gets himself a yellow card. does tend to have an explosive side to him Roger Kola known to get an odd red card here and there for some uh, audacious well obviously for Chris Kaunda not very pleased with the stoppages <laughs> which mainly seem to affect uh, prison leopards players I think he's just more concerned that they are, they are affecting the flow of play for the knuckle <laughs> uh, but whatever 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 the game gets stopped for that time will be added on as additional time after the regulation 90. well for him that's not even the point it's the steam that gets taken out yeah. every stoppage Piri. also playing it backwards <laughs> We'd want Zanako to continue pushing forward. Here's the goal scorer. Two goals to his uh, credit. Zanako. You need to quickly transition into the areas of opportunity. But for now, Looks like uh, they want to continue searching for those inroads. No one running into space. It's tight at the back there. I think through the middle, what Zanako are really lacking, you can't see the difference between Boyd Musonda and uh, Kelvin Kapumbo. Is the lack of drive. Chance here. Well laid, Yankobo. And the referee points to the spot. And that's the hard work and what comes out of it. And Prison Leopards failing to contend the pressure. And now they concede 
and it's going to be a penalty. Oh, it's Frederick Mukombozi who gets that yellow card, and he is claiming that it was his shoulder. But uh, Trison Mwape seems to think otherwise. It's the cushion header and uh, teed off by Baba Basile, Abraham Siankobo. And, uh, well, Derek Mukomozi, he comes out, tries to tuck his hand into the body. It does strike his arm. And he doesn't manage to get his arm out of trouble in time. Sanako so genuinely have a chance now to get back into this game. Well, they certainly do. And it's uh, Roger Collar as uh, prison lepers make a change. And it's Victor Majid who's going to be coming on the industrious East African. And uh, did spend some time on the books of Mighty Mflia Wanderers. Was a prison leopard to begin with, then left for Mofolera. But has since come back uh, holding midfielder with uh, a knack for going forward. So he does come on for Junior Zulu. So, Jason Leopards hoping to increase their fortunes. Junior Zulu shall rest for the Kenyan. In the meantime, it's a uh, caller versus Langson Chisi. Is it caller's day today or is it Chisi's? What's the decision? The goalkeepers usually decide where they will fly to. In the meantime, there's need for some control here. Too much pressure. A bit of order being required. Oh, oh now, what is that? I'm not so sure he was pushed, but he went down so easily. Yeah, Francis Debriding just trying to make a lot more of that situation than actually was there. Tyson Wappe should really get a hold of this game here. It's a... Well, uh, Yes, he has to call them. Yeah, yes, it's, that's, 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 that's right. It's the defenders trying to jostle for positions at the edge of the 18-yard box because once the strike is... Yeah, and Kevin Owusu has been summoned here by the referee. <laughs> and oh, he really does might end up being in trouble. It's almost like fighting for a plot. <laughs> yeah, because it's key where you stand in anticipation of the rebound. Should uh, the penalty spot be saved or missed? Could come off the post, could come back off the upright. And of course, the rebound is very, so too very much, crucial. Too much attention, too much delay, too much pressure around this penalty kick. It can just unnerve, unnerve the the penalty kicker yes the um, taker so much pressure around this and it sh we should have been done by now oh, <laughs> but yeah. anyway it's it's almost as if it's a penalty uh, sport occasion but here's Kola and yes Jesse and he makes no mistake it's 2-2 uh, here at Sunset Stadium and Zanako are back and two goals from Miete, two goals from Kola. And it's level here at uh, the banker's venue. You would have thought he would be nervous as he takes this, but he picks his spot, looks into the far left corner. And uh, it's far right corner, picks his spot, puts the power between it. Langson Chisi desperately tries to make that save, but alas, Guessed correctly the goalkeeper, but the power behind the shot from Roger Collar was too much and it makes its way into the net. So, a brace for Roger Collar. A brace for Roger Collar. Zanako 2, Prison Leopards 2. Four goals, two scorers. The goalkeeper dived in the right direction, but. The ball was just a little faster. Um, Jacques Bakulu is just <laughs> trying to acclimatize his bearings. 
Yeah. Didn't realize that he had run out of line. Might uh, end up uh, being given a, a lock on him. <laughs> like we're <to a> cool. <laughs> might mean big man or, or an elder yeah or an elder so who knows it might just fit in the meantime Zanako is the pressure it's a uh, shared points as it is after a lot of work so now who will go ahead of the other Challenge in the back of Roger Kola. The, it's from considering both central defenders, Derek Mukombozi and Francis Debra, are both on yellows. Very brave challenge there from Derek Mukombozi. But there is Mwenya Chipepo pacing the touchline, just trying to think what card does he still have up his sleeve. Remember, Zanako have made all their subs. Or have they? Strong defense, taking the ball out. Oh, this could be a bit of a promise, but uh, the ball control could have been better. Luckily, Nieta still has the chance to push forward. And uh, Prison Leopards like to play some meticulous approach. Patient. Except, of course, when they make mistakes <laughs> yeah. like this. They love Nothing the, ridiculous about oh that. Oh, no, they love the patient build-up, the passing game, and, you know, running into the spaces and the triangle passes and all of that. Well, it looks like Zanako now opting to go more for the direct football. Banda. Just uh, aiding to this. Uh, could this be number three? Yes, it is! But it has been denied because the offside, offside flag is up. Oh, my goodness. Stunned, unbelieving. And that should have been three. Could have been Roger Kohler's hat trick. It could have been a hat trick for real. Still doesn't seem to agree with Diana Chikotesha flagging. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's the call is actually, uh, well, the, the call is actually on Jacques Vakulu because Roger Kola was not offside, but the call is actually on Jacques Vakulu. And Vakulu is the one that plays the ball to Roger Kola. So it's cuffed, uh, <laughs> shot that must hurt. Yeah, Victor Majid, welcome to Sunset Stadium. The grass is very long, son. Here he stays strong as the knuckle look for a third. It was always going to be like this. Prisons under pressure, no need for that. The youthful enthusiasm, uh, the youthful enthusiasm uh, needs to be guided. Nebram Siankovo does possess a lot of promise but yeah sometimes the flashes of uh, ignorance do come to the fore every now and then oh good ball and oh what a miss that was a great great opportunity and uh, she knows this would have been colorful this is a brilliant chance to put prison leopards back ahead and again it's a wonderfully worked chance here and uh, it's the goal scorer who's turning to be looking to be the provider here and i think it just comes a little behind chitem where she tries to angle his head to make the right contact on it but fails to direct it towards the zanako goal oh now more trouble here for 
Prison Lepers is a call for offside. And it is. And she's saying, I'm seeing you. I can see. <laughs> Doubt me not. I see you, Sian Combo. I see you, Kola. Well, I think Zanako should just try and keep their heads in this game. And uh, they have the momentum, as it seems, already. The, the wind is behind their sails. So all they need to do is just keep at it. Well, they certainly have come alive in the second half, uh, Zanako. Those two goals propelling the confidence to a higher level. But uh, Prison Leopards still do look dangerous when they push forward. In the meantime, it's a chance, surely. Now, the defense pairing of this Prison Leopard side need to do a little bit of communicating and probably reflection. Because offsides, yes, put them aside. That would have been, those have been Zanako goals. And uh, they shouldn't put themselves in a situation where they really have to make a last-ditch tackle because should they get the timing wrong, one of them will be getting an early shower. That's a yellow card. It's a yellow card for Francis Zulu. This looks like a very, very tired challenge from the creative midfielder of Prison Leopards. He's trying to track back and comes down on Peter Kalota. No attempt to play the ball whatsoever. Zanako push for the winning goal. Prisons trying to do everything to stop that from uh, happening. And looks looking a little bit more forceful, Zanako. Chance here. Again, the goal begging. Baba Basile should be burying that by all accounts. And he just replicates exactly what Chite Mwishi was from doing, missing a clear header to put the team ahead. And for all his troubles, he will be coming out. Being withdrawn for Chisambalungo, a little more creativity in the middle of the park is what Chris Kaunda wants. And I'm sure now Zanako want to win the midfield battle and create the chances for Moses Piri, who's most likely going to move up and join Roger Kola in attack. So, Sambalungu comes with uh, a bit of dazzling football. Zanako, the chances are just begging to be taken. The prison Leopards could do well to threaten, push forward themselves. Oh well, a Sian Combo tackle was as innocent as he looks. <laughs> no malice. Twenty minutes left to play. 
four goals to the game's credit. Maybe one more to go. <laughs> the kind of game where the side that makes a mistake loses. So who will lose that concentration? And that's the level that's being reached here. Was that a handball? It looks like it was a push from Roger Collar. Actually, as, uh, he wins the header. Number one and number two on the log, battling it out here at Sunset Stadium. A breast from each side. Niete for prisons and Collar for the bankers. That's a good ball. Niete for prisons and Collar for the back. A breast from each side. Niete for prisons and Collar for the bankers. That's a good ball. Could this be another moment? Good interception. And a good cross off his weaker right foot, actually. Good interception in the end by Francis Debra. Sambalungu with uh, probably his first touch of the ball. Here comes a kick. But uh, not well done. The kick. But uh, not well done. Now, this is where it can get interesting if um, any mistake is made. Too slow, but fouled anyway. <laughs> Looks like he was just waiting for that zero tempo contact, Simon Kandu. And gives a chance for to prison leopards to actually breathe a sigh of relief and regroup in defense. Now this is where again. But it's this. Now this is where again. But it's this matter of bad bad hits bad, heavy hits bad heavy service kicks. yeah bad delivery and you know prison leopards had three players in the box and they were waiting for quality service on that cross but very very poor delivery from Ephraim to, to Sanili failing to keep that ball in place as Anako throw in Wusu's throw. He'll have another chance. Will he keep it short or into the box? Just a little too much in that Bakolo cross. He's fared very well, Vakolo, on his debut for Zanako and looks to have provided a different dimension to their attack so far. But why do you forget? Vakulu ni Vakulu. Miete. Looking for that opening space. Zanako, could they be exposed here? Oh! Not a bad run there from David Obashi. Not a bad shot from David Obashi. And he was looking to go across goal, but just, just a little too much power in that shot. So would you say now that uh, 
the cash reserves in the ATMs has been replenished, frankly? <laughs> uh, yeah, you could say. There's confidence in, uh, in the market. Yeah, looks like they're just breaking even. <laughs> it's about a round table at the end of the day. There's got to be a deal that should be struck between the leopards and the bankers. Stringing passes nicely and progressing well. Zanako trying to be big, to be strong and reliable, but on that occasion, Offside. She has the eye for it. A little, little debate to follow. Jacques Bakulo, yes. Caught in an offside position. This time it's not Roger Kolo. It's not Roger Kola, neither is it Abraham Siankombo. There's a good run here by Mieti, but why did he give up? Well, I think the ball was just a little too heavy for him. Mm. So, too many stat stops. Could there be something that was happening on the touchline? Because fourth official, Brian Lupando, is gesturing to central referee Tyson Mwape. This will be interesting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you will not play within this. Uh, Roger. No, caution, caution, defense. Oh, no. 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 so second bookable, second yellow, and uh, Roger Collar will have to take an early shower for descent. For I don't know, he must have said something which the second assistant didn't like, or the first assistant rather didn't like. So it's about uh, utterances that have uh, landed Roger Collar in trouble now. That's a, that's a bit of a shame because uh, that disadvantages uh, his side. So numerically, there could be a bit of a problem. A big, big problem because where your goal, your goal scorer uh, actually leaves the field of play due to a disciplinary issue. And earlier, frankly, I was saying Roger has gotten red carded a couple of times and this time around, it's foul language towards the first assistant, not happy with those offside calls that first assistant Diana Chikotesha had been flagging him for. And of course, she has every right to call him out on that. And Tyson Mwape siding with his fellow official, second yellow card for the Zanako captain. So now, not only has Zanako missing their goal scorer in this game, but that's also their captain in Roger Kola. You'd expect better behavior from him. It's the small things, the little things that matter the in little the end. Things. Yes, it's, it's concentration, it's focus. Zanako clearly had the wind in their cells. The momentum was behind them. They were looking like the team that was going to get the third goal more than Prison Leopards. But now, even as uh, Chitemwe, she seems to require attention, seems to be clutching his midriff, even as the medics come on. Uh, Mangani Banda could have had some training in uh, first aid and being a medic, but I doubt his services would be required at this particular juncture. Maybe just not wanted. It was always going to be a game with uh, something else other than just the, the game itself. Oh, they are going at the Zanako, that's one man short. Don't they sense that they can win this? Well, 
that's what uh, really has to be thought through by Prison Leopards. Ten minutes left to play. Prison Leopards pushing. They have an advantage. Uh, ten man Zanako to deal with. And it's uh, becoming, and it's been generally, <laughs> an emotional game. It has very emotionally charged it. <laughs> Of course, Obashi, after what transpires, even leaves the scene of the crime and uh, very ready to get on with play. Free kick. Here it comes. And it's just wide. Frustration. Prison Leopards, who will be looking at how to take advantage of 10 man. Zanako. But they usually say it's not as easy as it looks on paper to deal with a team one short. For some reason, something happens and they, they even can be a threat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just that, that bit of relaxation, that comes on the team with the advantage well with the numerical advantage and uh, they may just lose it handboat Sambalungu Zio tumbles to the ground, but does the job, that's what's more important. I'm sure when Simon Nkandu is doing his doggies, he runs a lot quicker than that. <laughs> Seven minutes to play. Will one of these break to aid the other some three points? That goes out. So at this stage, you want to be ambitious cautiously. To Sambalungu. Oh, this could be interesting. Just and it is goal number three and Zanako surely. Siankombo. Could he be the man? Could he win it for Zanako? The young lad just making a mark and he keeps doing it with every game. And Prince the Lepers could be in trouble here. With a few minutes to go. Sian Combo strikes. And it started by Peter Kalota. He's not been closed down. He comes to, plays the pass to Baba Basile, lets it run across him to Moses Piri. His first shot is saved by Langson Chibi, Chisi, but he parries it into the path of Abraham Sian Combo. The defenders are flat footed. Simon Kandu was closest to Sian Combo, doesn't react to the rebound, neither do any of the other defenders. The closing on Moses Piri was poor. The reaction to the rebound. Equally poor, Abraham Siankombo capitalizes and gets himself the goal. Could this be the winner? That 10 man Zanako 
get at sunset. Well, I hope that boot call, <laughs> he made a call. I hope the call has reached. But whoever is calling should know that he scored here at Sasa Stadium to give the knock of the lead, Abraham Siankombo. Five minutes to go, and the Nako are in the lead. 3-2 it is, and Prison Leopards suddenly are behind. Oh, Bill Chance Makiese just stood up and got on with play. That's the Correctional Services uh, <laughs> Director General. Dr. Achisala, from a winning position, uh, <laughs> now facing possible defeat, our prison leopards. Well, he's really given them a lot of support this side, and uh, from what it is, what it was to what the team is, he deserves a lot of credit for what he's done to the green and white side. But today, he might be witnessing a tough assignment against the determined uh, Zanako side. Offside. Now prison lepers are looking for a, an equalizer. from leading by two goals to trailing. From leading by two goals to conceding three goals. Oh my goodness. They scored two unanswered goals, Franklin, and now they've conceded three goals. And it's been a plague for prison leopards because they do concede late goals and they've lost a lot of points from a winning position in previous games. Five goal thriller here at the Sunset Stadium. Card. Uh, Kevin Owusu. <laughs> Kevin Owusu. What for, I wonder? I think just time wasting. He hasn't uh, gotten the ball to play it back. Not to show what else is happening. He has given him a yellow card. Bumsy. Why did? Why Oh, so much drama. He's asking whether. The goalkeeper has been given a yellow card for a hamstring. Yes. But as far as the referee is concerned, <laughs> it's time wasting. It's time wasting, yes, Mangani Banda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yellow card for him as well. Is, uh, it comes on for Obashi. And, whoosh, <laughs> for Prison Leopards as well. Three yellow cards, so eight yellow cards flashed out today. One red. It's been a very, very tightly contested match. Absolutely. For Zanako, this man might not have scored yet, but his inclusion has certainly made a difference. Moses Spirit. He's forceful, he, he's hungry. And he is effective. So 10 man Zanako. Leading here, and the referee blows for, a, I think, a handball against the Prison Leopards player. Yes, Chite Mweshi. About Chite Mweshi. <laughs> yeah. You should be thinking the handball should be on the other side. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that very dejected Prison Leopards. It's very, very deflating. A man should always promise some drama, some sort of. So, can there be a prison's hero 
for an equalizer. Three minutes to do that. Mangani Banda, who is uh, yellow carded for either a hamstring or time wasting, oh, uses but, uh, the same foot that has the hamstring issue to <laughs> kick the ball. My, oh my. Well, of course, there was some water that was sprayed on his thigh, so wouldn't be surprised that it healed. Should have seen the facial expression or the facial body language on, his, on the medics. Had to be convincing as well. Theatrics from <laughs> Dolchans Makiese. So, Mangani to decide what to do. Two minutes to go. Sambalungu. Piri. Lungu. Sambalungu again. Zanako now. Working around with the ball. Ten man Zanako. Prison Leopards under pressure. They've got a minute. Zanako have to hold out for a minute. One long minute. <laughs> a long minute it's going to be. But what an interesting game it has turned out to be in the end. Ten man Zanako. And a third. A match that uh, looks like they have won here at the Sunset Stadium. And unless something truly magical happens in the few seconds remaining, this could be Zanako's uh, day. And it's Zanako in attack. And this looks promising. Could this be goal number four? What drama is going to end this match? The goalkeeper has been beaten, but the ball is too much. All the spirit just oh. caught between two minds, not knowing what to do and wasting that <laughs> chance in the end. <laughs> But it ends on a dramatic note here at the Sunset Stadium. It started off with Prison Leopards leading by two goals. Two goals that came, the red-carded uh, Roger Collar. But it ends in the end, Zanako maintained.